Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Temi and this is my April plan with me video where I've gone for the paint splatter theme. I hope you enjoy this video, I really love playing around this theme so please like it if you like it and subscribe if you're new. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me. Comment what your April theme is and let's go! So I was thinking of doing something around a rainy April like rain showers but I didn't want to use a singular colour on its own and so I decided for this art paint kind of theme and I love how it came out. I used the pastel highlighters for the rough outline of the splatters and then I went over it using watercolour paint just to add the more realistic effect. I made some bits a bit darker just to put some form and ended up just going back and forth just trying to make it a little bit more realistic but quite loose in this approach. So I chose these three colours because I just wanted something quite nice and light for spring but I didn't want just one colour for this month, I wanted, I wanted something a little bit more vibrant for the month. All my materials are listed and linked below so please have a look in the description box if you're interested in everything that I've used. For the quote this month I went for a brush of kindness can paint a smile on a face and I think it fits the theme so nicely but also it's important to remember to treat everybody with kindness in the midst of the social media era where people can hide behind their screens. I think it's important just to remember that everyone's human and no need to be too hard on anyone. I added some doodles, so a doodle of a brush that looks like it's been dipped in paint and some paint cans at the bottom just to finish off this cover page and I love how it turned out, tell me what you think down in the comments. For my monthly spread I refer back to my grid spacing sheet. So the idea for this spread was for the monthly layout to look like it was on a canvas and this was a super simple idea and it was very easy to execute as well. I added washes of brown paint for the easel and I also added splatters of paint where the dates go in the different colours. Finally I added a monthly goal section to the bottom left of the page and I made this in the shape of a paint can. I just love how it fits really nicely with the theme but it also aligns with my ideals of having monthly goals to match my yearly goals. For my mood tracker I went for a paint palette and the idea was to have 30 little circles which would be blobs of paint to indicate the different colours of my mood. I did a wash of brown on the page just to give the wooden illusion and I also added a key at the bottom of the three colours. My plan is to use darker versions of each colour to show an exaggerated version of each mood. I also added a habit tracker to the right. My habit tracker stays the same each month if you're used to any of my spreads and I needed to use some tip -X to go over some bit that I had issues with. Then for my gratitude log, I went for the same exact simple layout that I always do but I swapped out the three colours for each line. I also added a doodle of a paintbrush on the side. Next for my art brain dump page I came up with this really cool idea of a sketchbook inside a book and I did a doodle of a paintbrush on the side of the page. Now finally for my weekly spread so I went for the horizontal theme for this month and I found this really cool idea on Pinterest of having paintbrushes to separate the days. So again I alternated the colours like I have been and I think this spread came out really cute and quirky. I wasn't quite sure what to do for the title of the page but after looking back at my cover page I realised that I haven't really done the splatter theme since the cover page so I decided to do this wash of the three colours at the top. Unfortunately it ended up transferring to the Art Brain Dump page but I'm actually not mad at how it looks. I think the bleeding gave a really cool effect. And that is it for these bum spreads, so here is the final flip through of my April 2020 paint themed spread. I hope you like this theme this month, let me know what you think in the comments and if you want to see any of my spreads in detail have a look at my Instagram at temi.journals and if you end up recreating any of these spreads feel free to tag me as well, I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you on my next video, goodbye.